The mission of this channel is to help you win at betting. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy method that you can use to profit. If you want to be the bookmakers at their own game, then keep it here. Let's crack on. I should start by saying the example I'm going to share with you is horse racing, but you can use this system for other sports. We're going to cover in this video how to easily identify these bets, the simple calculation which any of you can do, what to watch out for, where you should place the bets, how you can remove all the risk if you wish to, and we're going to share a little bit extra for those people who class themselves as intermediates. And we're going to start off with a screen recording, and then we're going to give you some examples to help you understand much better. If that's what you want, that's what we're going to do. Let's go. So let me give you the example. Normally speaking, I use actually two tools for this, but you don't actually need the odds checker website. But uh, I'm basically looking through uh, the racing post. It's all the different races during the day, obviously, to pick my other selections. And the race that interests me the most uh, for this purpose is the uh, 5.35 at uh, Leopardstown. So as you can see, the first three in the betting are literally clear of the others. It's an exact eight runner race. You will need eight runners to go to post for the three places. So just bear that in mind. So if we go up to uh, Leopardstown, we go to Odds Checker. We're already on that race, the 5.35. This is the win market. You can see your even money uh, best odds or 10 to 11 actually uh, in generally speaking you've got uh, 9 to 4 the second favorite then you've got a bit of 5 to 1 on the third favorite and then it's uh, 14 to 1 bar now this 14 to 1 shot I can absolutely guarantee to you later it's going to be near 20 to 1 and there's two 25 to 1 shots if you go to the exchanges to be 50 to 1 plus and the other two which are literally got no chance right uh, uh, 100 to 1 they should be nearer 3 or 400 to 1 by the end of the day right so uh, but by doing the second and third favorites on the each way market if we even took uh, the two to one Right, uh, the two to one is two to five a place, which would be 1.40, or the nine to four, which you could possibly get, is 1.45 for the place term. The five to one itself, uh, you would be getting even money a place, and uh, you know, it's even short odds up to 92, you'd still be getting odds of 1.90 for the place in connection with the each way bed. So, if we just go across to show you this example now, why you would be making a profit is because if you look at this top three finish, you would see that the best odds that you can possibly see about uh, New Diamond uh, getting a place is the H13, which is 1.62, right? But by doing it in connection with the each way bet, you've got odds of two. So you're getting even money about an H13 shot, right? Uh, if you took uh, the, the second favorite, uh, you know, you can see 4 to 11, which is really over the odds. They've probably got it wrong. They just haven't changed or they're still asleep because uh, the moral of the story, as you can see, is 1 to 7, 1 to 12, 1 to 10 in most places, right? You know, so let's take uh, the bet 365 as literal and call it 1.14. Whereas if you did uh, it in an each way bet and you got the 9 to 4, you, like I say, you'd get the 1.45 as opposed to 1.14. And even if you got the 2 to 1, you're still getting 1.40 place. You've got to do it in connection with uh, the winner. That's the only thing uh, I would mention. And there just need to be the eight runners as well. If we also go to the um, 430 race, this is less obvious. But uh, again, you know, you've got two that are well ahead of the market, right? So, you know, you've got uh, four to seven shots. Uh, um, sorry, four to six shots is the best odds. Five to two, uh, you've got uh, 10 to one. Uh, which is generally available to sort of nine to one. If you click on the place term, pay particular attention to this uh, third horse, uh, the company sergeant, because if you're getting a nine to one, that's nine to five a place, that's 2.80 a place. Whereas if we now change the market and look at the top three finish, right, you're going to see here that uh, generally speaking, You've got the even money a place you've got 2.20 a place that's the best odds right and on the exchanges you're getting 2.30 a place now like i say you know uh if you're doing it in connection with the each way bet you've got the 2.80 a place so you can see you're getting substantially more by doing these type of races so let's move on as per promise let's go through a little bit of this to give you a deeper understanding Right, so if we go back to the race that we covered earlier, what you're going to see is, I'm going to show you this uh, chart that I just uh, put up for you, um, that uh, basically you've got the eight runners there. 
And you can see, if you look down towards the bottom where it says total percent, you can see the total percent for the win market is 114.2%. Whereas for the place market, it's 270.6%. Now, the thing is, there's three places, right? So what you do know in this instance is that the bookmakers are betting over broke because that would be like three places divided by the 270 would equal 90.2%. Right. And the bookmakers need to get it over 100 percent to start making, you know, their theoretical or profit as such. Right. So, you know, these are the type of stuff that you've got to take into consideration. These are the advantages that you're actually looking for. So I can also tell you that it works for uh, smaller fields, five horse races, five to seven is, means uh, two places. We've just got to go through the maths again, basically. And um, as you can see from this example here, uh, you can see that the favorite is a two to five shot. And then you've basically got after that uh, four to one, sorry, two five to one shots, and then it's 100 to one bar. Now, the thing is, right, those 100 to one bar shots, if you look on Matchbook, they're actually 293, which tells you everything that you need to know that they basically have got no chance. So two of the places should really be filled by the first three in bet. Odds of uh, five to one, you are getting a five to four a place. So literally, if you really want to throw caution to the wind, you could bet both of these each way, you know, race view uh, road, and a chosen template at uh, five to one because you are going to get the place part back and you're going to hope one of them wins. If you go down actually into the uh, place uh, bet and you have a look on, you know, at the exchanges of betting, you see uh, chosen template is four to seven with uh, uh, bet fear, whereas you're getting five to four. The other one, because it's never raised over hurdles and, you know, it's a bit more sort of uh, optimistic, I guess, uh, uh, is uh, a nine to ten shot at its best. And you can see with the bookmakers themselves, one of them is giving even money. Uh, but, uh, you know, the likes of uh, Bet365, they're giving four to six. But if you bet this each way with Bet365, they are forced to give you five to four on the in-play market. That's the important factor when you, you know, looking at uh, uh, odds scalping a little bit of uh, the... And we can also uh, just uh, sort of back that up with another five horse race. This has already been uh, uh, won by Majestic Force. It was uh, seven to two, um, which would have, you know, it's... Uh, uh, a quarter of the odds would give you like a 1.875 so you had your sort of safety net but they also actually won the race which means that you know you'd have also got uh, the 450 for the actual um, uh, win market right so that's how you sort of get in a little bit of it like a, a free bet now if we revert back to a bet that i actually made that was and i had actually advised this to our clients and that was mr bramley in this race right you can see the win market uh, is uh, mr bramley you could get five to one and that's exactly what i did manage to get unfortunately i only managed to get to 400 each way at uh, five to one but uh, okay that's uh, uh, the way the cookie crumbles and this is an eight horse race so there was uh, three places you also won the race so you got the 2400 for the win and you also got the even money for a place so you know you got another 800 for the place which made it a 3200 uh, for the state but the most important factor is if you go down to the actual place uh, part of the bed and you have a look at uh, what they were given you can see that simultaneously uh, you know bet 365 would give him 4 to 11 on this and you know that basically means you know they're giving you 4 to 11 when if you're doing it in connection with the each way uh, you're getting even money so you know that's how you sort of work it out if you go across to the exchange it was four to nine on the exchange which is like 1.55 and like i say he was getting two so it was like a, a bit of a free roll of the dice is always a little bit of a risk could fall anything could happen actually won the race quite comfortably and uh, you know that's all what sort of accounted for us so let's move on with the next part so i've got a few final points if you're the intermediate type of gambler, you know, you think you, you know the business a little bit, right? What you could do is you could go and sell off the place part of the bed. So let's just imagine, if let's say it was, you know, just two places and you've done it 100 each way at uh, 4 to 1. You're going to get the 400 win plus the 100 back on the place. If it was like a 4 and a half to 1 on best fit, you could go and sell 88 on the win and thus increase your odds to like 1.43 just purely for the place. 
Now, in most cases, I'm assuming that by this stage, that would be like 1.22, you know. So just bear that in mind if you are an intermediate, right? And also, if you're an intermediate, what I would suggest is that you get familiar with foreign racing. UK bookmakers are all over the place with it, and you can really take advantage. The foreign racing, if you know what you're doing, once you get into it, right, it's relatively easy to take the bookmakers apart. So for the other guys, uh, you know, we're just uh, sort of uh, learning this uh, process. Then I would say some of the important stuff is um, learn to click through odds checker pretty quickly. It should take you about 10 minutes once you get into it, right? Uh, it's unlikely to be handicaps that you're looking at. So if you want to, you could even skip those uh, because, uh, you know, it would be a quicker process if you come in like a, a quick sort of five or six meetings a day. Uh, look for the odds that, uh, you know, where there's like three standing clear of the field. If one's very short odds, then the next two are generous you could do that also if the first three in betting are closely compact you know together like a six to four sort of uh, nine to four between the three they do them all in the each way uh, betting so that's something else to sort of consider uh, you need to have five to seven runners for the actual uh, two places if you're going to do three places it's going to be eight runners make sure that you're comfortable that you're going to get them don't place your bets early if it's you know it is a danger of like a non-runner so just think about that as well right so uh, um, i would definitely suggest that you place these bets actually in betting shops because uh, it's the not just easy it's also not going to get your card marked uh, you know cash betting is always the best when it comes to this type of uh, betting here's uh, one uh, little uh, winning bet uh, uh, that uh, one of our uh, clients had and did an each way bet and i tell you where he actually got that from uh, probably um, uh, bookiebashers.net so if you want to check out that website right that you know you're willing to pay a few quid for uh, sort of information uh, to get these advantage uh, plays on horse racing uh, bookiebashers uh, bushy bookiebashing.net should i say is a, a good starting point right and that's about it if you want to learn more about racing you definitely need to have a look at this video and the thing is, let me tell you, uh, you know, if you really want to get into professional gambling, consider our mentorship program. And uh, that's about it for now. You're through to boot camp. We'll see you in the next one soon. Take care for now. Bye bye.